Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with bi weekly contest 60 second Q3. Three. Maximize the confusion of an exam. I mean, I'm confused already, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Join me on Discord if you want to talk about contest problems. Uh, there are a lot of smart people there, a lot of people finish higher than me these days. So, yes, play even on this contest. So, Q3, maximize the confusion of an exam. So, this one I use sliding window. Um, yeah, this one I use sliding window, which you can think about as a greedy solution. So, yeah, the idea is that um, it's a sliding window, or you could call it a two pointers algorithm. Basically, you, you, you want. You want to think about what invariant you want to hold, and on this problem, the invariant that I want to hold was inside uh, a, a window, inside two fingers, inside two pointers. We want to have um, we want to have at most k of the minority, right? So let's say t and f. Um, you could choose. You know, uh, you can you can actually run it twice, and that's what I did. Is that just to simplify things, um, you have a string of, you're just trying to find the longest um, string of T's with at most K F's, um, because in that case, then you convert those F's to T's, right? So so that's basically the idea. And the invariant you have with the two fingers is that, okay, as you go from left to right, uh, the, the right finger or the pointer, you increment one by one. Okay, if it's true, then that means that you have a new longest streak, yay. If you have a force, that means that you want to convert this force to a true, right? So you use one of the K. Um, however, if there's no more K, then you have to move your left finger um, to kind of um, until you find another F, because that means that you're using that F to T K to use in the new um, in the new space. And that's basically the idea. The the thing is that you could choose it to be T and F, so you just kind of one it twice right one for the longest t's and the other one for the longest f's so that's basically the idea i have and let's go over the code um yeah so so yes yeah, so i have this function that i just for for this function uh get the longest strings of uh, consecutive um of t's using at most k switches or swaps or whatever they call them right so here we sp we start um well best is the best streak current is basically the number of things that we can use left uh number of switches or confusion or whatever it is um and then here we just have the two fingers that we're talking about and while the, so we try to move right one at a time if the answer key is correct, then we successfully increased our window by one. So there we, we looked at the max. Otherwise, um, otherwise, if we can use a K, we do use a K. So we also, um, you know, set that to the best. Um, we can also obviously just put this outside, but at the time I didn't want to eh, look confusing. So, so yeah, so if you wanted to optimize the code a little bit, you can do something like this. Um, yeah, maybe this, but then now it looks even slightly more confusing. But in any case, um, yeah, otherwise, if this is, if this is, um, here, answer key right is false, and we ran out of switches. So that means that, okay, that means that now we have to get our switch back to use here. Um, so we move our left pointer, we keep on going until we see a false. Of course, if it's a true, then it's not a false, so we keep going. So that's why I have this while loop. And then here, then now, answer of left, or answer key of left is a true, or is a false, sorry. So then now we can increment to remove it to use now or later. And that's why we have it here. And that's basically the idea. Well, this function is to get the long. This is sliding window. It's greedy. You, it's greedy, and that in every decision, you know what you, you can make given the invariant, and that's basically the idea. Here, I have a reverse answer key to convert all the T's to F's, and then ran it again so that we get the max for true or false because that's basically the idea. Um, yeah. So this is linear time because this function is called twice. So that's going. Um, 
this function is called twice, and this function is linear because if you look at the independent left and right pointers, right gets incremented n times. That means that we use this loop is uh, all of um, this loop is at most n times. And if you look at the left one, um, the left, even though there's a while loop inside, if you look at the the life of the left pointer, it can only go from zero to n. So that means that like there's no re resetting, there's no rewording. So that means that it's going to be linear, right? Because left can only be incremented n times. So this is this is a linear time function, and there, uh, um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, and this is the way that I did it. This is linear space because because of this thing because we convert it to the thing. But of course, if you were smarter uh, and want to be optimized, you can actually get this to um, all of one space. Um, because I, I for contest I didn't really care, but you can get this in all, all one space because you don't um, you just write this code before F or T or something like that, right? So yeah, um, you can actually rewrite this way easily actually to all of one space. So I challenge you to do that at home. Um, that's all I have for this one. You could watch me solve it live in the contest next. We use a K. Oh, this is a. this oh, uh, I'm being really bad today this is such a dumb problem or easy problem but okay I'm really rusty today.
So now we see force. I'm really slow today. Uh, did anyone finish this yet? Probably, right? No, I just, okay, let's see. And I have a five minute penalty. That's the one that kills me. The five minute penalty is tough. Okay. Number of ways to partition numbers is number of Okay. So basically the prefix is equal to the suffix hmm. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord, especially if you like contest farms, come and hang out and chat about contest farms uh, after the contest. Anyway, I'll see you later. Stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.